All right, what is going on, guys? AS Rose here, and today we're going to be getting down to the bottom of this little taste situation as best as we can because these past three days since the fake news came out, I know everybody just been like, what in the absolute hell is going on? You were just popping on the rise to success five years ago. Then you disappeared for a couple years with no trace. Ain't nobody seen nor heard anything from you. Then when you come back, the first thing we hear is that you passed away as well as your brother. Well, <laughs> that, that couldn't be farther from the truth because that was definitely capped. And whoever was behind posting that on her Instagram, you should be more than ashamed because death is not something to be played with. You are a demon for that. Had everyone worried for no reason. Even if this was a comeback move for clout, it's still wrong. But I'm not gonna hold y'all along with this video, man. With that being said, are y'all ready? Well, let's get it. Lil Tay is trending on Twitter, and the public thinks certain people are lying about her passing. Vancouver police confirmed they have no records of Lil Tay's passing, and the whole situation just seems so off. Lil Tay rose to fame in 2018 with a series of viral videos where she played a character of a young, rich girl often seen flexing a lot of money in expensive cars. In 2018, Lil Tay achieved viral fame on various social media platforms, including Instagram, Twitter, and even YouTube. Her videos would frequently catch the attention of a lot of people on social media. She was self-proclaimed as the youngest flexor of the century. Yep, yep, I remember all of that. Lil Tay was definitely one of the hottest topics of 2018, and I think the reason for it was because of her age. Y'all gotta remember, she was nine years old. If you were on that wave back in 2018, then you had to know who Lil Tay was. She was flexing, cursing, smoking carrots like it was a literal blunt, etc. And this brought so much attention. It's almost as if you had one side of the world praising her for her antics and you had the other side that felt like she needed to be shut down immediately, which did happen eventually. She got to hang around rappers and other YouTubers who, in my opinion, were trying to hop in her circle and milk her dry for content and money whilst at the same time not caring about her well-being. Here's my question to y'all watching this video. Let's say she didn't disappear, right? And she was still in the spotlight, right? Still had multiple opportunities, sponsorships, all types of brand deals, you name it. How long do you think it was going to take before everything she was doing started to get old and played out? I mean, let's really be realistic because we've seen people like her get famous for whatever stupid reason and start their road to success only for it to eventually lead to a dead end because they failed to capitalize and get more buzz as they did the first time. I'm not saying she isn't talented. She probably know how to do a, a damn standing triple backflip in the air, something that I can't do. I can backflip, just not that. But I'm saying that to say eventually she was going to have to pivot to another outlet career-wise. That's all I'm saying. Lil Tay, whose real name is Claire Hope, also became embroiled in a few public feuds with people like Danielle Brigoli, known as Bad Baby or the Catch Me Outside Girl, and also Woe Vicky, another internet sensation. After her sharp rise to online fame, Lil Tay stopped posting online, and she became a much more private person. She wasn't seen posting on social media for the next few years, and she just completely wiped off the face of the internet. Hey, tell me why I heard that the Lil Tay, Wo Vicky, and Bad Baby situation was scripted. Even the situation where Wo Vicky and Bad Baby fought in the studio, that was scripted. I even seen text messages of them setting up the whole thing. Let's keep it a stack. Lil Tay would've got scraped and beat the fuck up by Bad Baby. Wouldn't stand no chance. Her main focus was Wo Vicky anyway, and Vicky would've got scraped too. Don't get me started on what would have happened if I was there. I would have, Danielle, who we knocking out first? On me, say the word. Your wish is my command. Stop playing. Look, scripted or not, Lil Tay looked dumb as hell trying to fight somebody, let alone just being there on the scene in general. You, you, you should have been in school that day, honestly. I guess clout mattered more than education back then. Still applies to this day. What people do for clout these days is crazy. But on the 9th of August, a Wednesday, Lil Tay's family shared this message on her Instagram, revealing her unexpected and sudden passing, or should we say alleged passing. The post on her Instagram page read, it is with a heavy heart that we share the devastating news of our beloved Claire's sudden and tragic passing. We have no words to express the unbearable loss and indescribable pain. This outcome was entirely unexpected and has left us all in shock. Her brother's passing adds an even more unimaginable depth to our grief. During this time of immense sorrow, we kindly ask for privacy as we grieve this overwhelming loss as the circumstances of Claire and her brother's passing are still under investigation. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. No bullshit, bro. 
why the real question is what what did you expect to gain from doing this other than attention because whoever did this messed up big time i feel like it was the parents and i say the parents because an instagram account who claims to be the brother came out on instagram and made a post saying how they were in the middle of winning their case and how they were going to come out exposing the truth as opposed to what the parents have been doing ever since tay disappeared just to then be shut down with a tactic that wasn't even thought all the way through H how does that even halt the process who was really going to have custody of her I know she got more family members she could have went to or something because if the brother is getting custody, that's probably the dumbest decision a judge could make. Did we forget who the masterminds were that started all of this? Hello, don't be dumb. It's pretty obvious. There was even another post by someone claiming to be Tay on Instagram going on to say that I want to make it clear that my brother and I are safe and alive, but I'm completely heartbroken and struggling to even find the right words to say. It's been a very traumatizing 24 hours. Now, as I said in the beginning, people will do anything for Klaus, so who knows if this is really Lil Tay and her brother. So apparently it's being reported that not only has Lil Tay passed away, but also her brother, and the reason is unclear. A few hours after the sad announcement was made on Instagram by Lil Tay's family, her father, Christopher Hope, reportedly declined to give a statement when the son approached him. Additionally, her father chose not to offer any clarification regarding whether Lil Tay was residing with him at the moment of her purported passing. The whole thing is just so mysterious and people are really questioning the timing of this as well as the backstory. Look at this nigga here, boy. Better get so. Glenn Lerner is the lawyer for you. Call 222-2222. Head ass. I bet you don't get no SoundCloud plays for that song. I don't like you. you. You're a bitch. Honestly. What type of parent is so butthurt about their child's success to the point where you feel like you have to take it all away from them so you can have it all for yourself? Tay, I ain't gonna lie to you. Your whole family is full of cornballs. They all some lames. Especially your brother who had the nerve to make a GoFundMe claiming her dad was abusing her when in reality, he, he, he probably was. He probably was. My point is, at the time when the GoFundMe went up, the picture that was posted was old. And it couldn't have been anything recent. Those marks from that old picture could be from anything. This whole family is weird to me, especially the dad with his peacock looking ass. The only reason why he's been living lavish the whole time is because he's been doing it all off of her money. Anything she made went straight to him. And I bet he hasn't done a damn thing for her. He didn't sign million dollar deals, taking trips to Dubai, bought jewelry and clothes when all of that is supposed to be for her. It's a special place for you, my boy. Whoa, Vicky, another internet sensation who blew up with Lil Tay around the same time and was actually somewhat close to her, spoke out on Lil Tay's alleged passing as well. Vicky posted this video to her TikTok and ended it off posting a few pictures where she shared some memories with Lil Tay in her past. Rest in peace to Lil Tay, y'all. Uh, and her brother, may they rest in peace in heaven and God bless them, singing prayers to them and their family. Um, did Jesus comfort their family while they go through this hard loss and give them the peace that we're going to give you know, the only one who can comfort them. Um, thank you, Jesus, for a life and another day. Her peace and comfort during this hard time because you're the only one who comfort them. Um, her mother and her father um, wrap your arms around them and hug them. Name, Rest in peace to Lil Tay and her brother. It's, it's fake, Vicky. It's fake. Is that whoa, Vicky? I see. Well, hello there, madam. How are you on this fine day? Vicky, guess what's upsetting right now? The fact that me, you, and the rest of the internet got thrown for a loop that Lil Tay passed away when in reality she's probably just fine. Maybe. I said maybe. Damn, when she went back to Canada, her dad cut off all her connections, even Vicky. I feel like her only good support system was XXXTentacion and Vicky. And with Vicky, I'm talking about besides the shenanigans. Like later down the role she cleaned up her act and got close to god which i heavily respect she didn't expose the industry mind you the same industry she was a part of and tried to wake people up and is still doing so to this day y'all better put some respect on vicky name i don't care if she still look like sid from ice age put some respect on sid i mean vicky people have been suspicious about Lil tay's parents as well as her brother's intentions in the past as they have been exposed for some pretty dark stuff especially her brother getting exposed for training Lil tay on how to act for this persona that she was putting out on social media that she was obviously being forced to do clips got leaked all over social media at the time and Lil tay seems 
super agitated with the way her brother was constantly forcing her on how to act to put up with this persona for social media. Now, to make this whole situation even more sketchy, there are reportedly no traces of any records showing the passing of Lil Tay by Vancouver police nor LA, which really makes the situation seem off for a lot of people on social media. Why Lil Tay mama look like something out of a scary movie? I'm not even playing. Imagine her wearing an all black dress, doing a back bend, staying like that, and then running at you Hussein Bolt style in the dark. At that point, I'm not even running. I'm turning around and shooting. No questions asked. But no, it is odd that the Vancouver and Los Angeles Police Department don't have any records of her in their system. So what does that tell you? She is alive. Hopefully we do get to see the return of Lil Tay, obviously in a different type of spotlight, because if she was to come back and start making the same type of content she was doing before, she wouldn't last. But I do wish her the best. But this is what I will be wrapping up the video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe down below, hit that like button, turn on post notifications so you never miss another video, share this video with your friends, and follow me on social media. All the links will be in the description box below. And with that being said, I love all of you forever and always, and I'll see you in the next video. But okay. did you know that's your girl? Okay. Push on the itty bitty titty committee, trying to get litty litty when you wanna run up. I'ma hit you with the fucking 50 niggas wanna touch that shit, but never really about that shit. I got a question for you, nigga. How you really do that shit? Hey.